Humongous, huge hype update dropping on Global tomorrow, boys. Matrona, I know you guys have been waiting years for a new Matrona. Everyone always comments, uh, a new festival Demon King? A new festival Meliodas? They're, why are they making a the one ultimate when they can make another Matrona? Yes, yes, yes. So, Step Up Matrona is... Uh, is here and uh, one week before the collab we already know attack on titan is getting a collab return which a lot of people already have this put their minds on skipping and then when the unit is revealed they're gonna summon so you know but this is a good thing because matrona is a immediate skip character it's not even like a discussion because last year we had tonar in this exact same spot red tonar was a difficult decision for a lot of players because she was a character that helped a lot with the current Demonic Beast, which, uh, till this day, you know, dogs, if you don't have the proper characters, can be a little bit tough. So, Tonar was a pretty big decision. Matrona is not really a <laughs> decision here. You're not gonna summon for her because she's just not really all that. She's pretty mediocre. Uh, I wouldn't say she's bad, though. Actually, I, I just I would not say she's a bad unit whatsoever, actually. But she's not anything great. And honestly, why would you pull for something that isn't amazing? Ever. Like, why would you ever, ever, ever spend gems? Uh, she's cheap, right? Okay, you can make that argument. But still, why would you summon for something that isn't amazing? Right? That's how I think. Um, I mean, for me, obviously, I'm a YouTuber, so it's different. <laughs> it's different, but... Like a regular free to play player should never be spending gems on something that isn't going to in, in like immediately enhance their account. So uh, Matron is a big skip for pretty much everyone except if you want box CC. If you're a huge whale that just wants box CC, then yeah, you want to have every character, but majority of players aren't like that. Her passive is alright, you know, getting an extra heal uh, per turn for your teammates and she's a pretty whatever character. She doesn't have a place yet. I suspect she'll be pretty good for uh, Hero Arena. And maybe Guild Wars, but you know we'll have to see what the uh, the Sweat Lords will do with her. But in terms of general uh, player population, I don't think she's going to be of much use. So it's an easy skip, right? That's pretty good. You know, save your gems for. I mean, if you, if you're somebody with Attack on Titan, which you probably are, but if you're not, then the following festival because uh, we should have. A new banner. So last year we had Tonar, and then we had ReZero, right? ReZero returned with Reinhardt and the uh, and uh, 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 the other character, <laughs> Akinda. And then after that we have Green. We had the Green Chandler. So what's likely going to happen is after the collab is done, we're going to be having a just regular banner character, which is most likely going to be a skip unless they're very very good. Might even get a Ragnarok. You know they love Ragnarok characters. Um, and then we had Festival Merlin, which was a pretty 50-50 festival last year, you know, she was okay. She became much better after, uh, some other characters came out, of course, after, after, um, Philo came out mainly and stuff like that. But at launch, she was a pretty whatever character. But, you know, a festival is a festival, and likely the festival this year is going to be good. There... There hasn't been a single festival in this entire game that you can say has never been good. I don't think. I'm trying to think. Even Kusok. Even Kusok had a meta at one point. So, you know, festivals are festivals, right? They're always going to have a meta at some point, so... You gotta, you know, pretty much get lucky. Oh, is this festival I'm putting all my gems on going to be the festival that's going to have a long-lasting meta? You never know, bro. You just never know. So... Um, yeah, what else is coming this week for Global? I mean, you guys are having the PvP game mode still. We just uh, ended ours. Can I still show? No, I got my top 1% placement. I actually did not play this week. <laughs> I got very high in the first week. I got like top 0.1%. And I, I didn't play second week pretty much at all. Because honestly, the second week meta was so dog shit. <laughs> It was so bad. It was just demons. Then what's the point? <laughs> then what's the point? And I've seen screenshots. I need to take a look again. I should actually like go on global and take a look. But I've seen screenshots of people saying that global current like uh, scores are even worse than JP was. So, uh, but yeah, this week on on global we're getting this tower. I haven't even finished it. 
Oh, this was not me. I actually, sp Speed did this. Wow. I'm surprised. Or was I? I was like playing uh, something else on the side and, and doing it. So maybe it was me and there's not remembering. Uh, which is cool. It has it has a decent amount of rewards, especially SA coins. There's a good amount of SA coins. No gems or anything, so it's it's whatever. Labyrinth. Uh, this labyrinth is very easy. Not just very easy. Super, super, super fast on getting the items on the store. I did not farm the post uh, final boss. Uh, final boss area at all i was you know i did like five runs five completed runs uh trying to get like a perfect team and i didn't i didn't really because you know it is rng right and look i bought i bought the whole store like I, i'm not buying this i have like how many do i have of this i have 61 and they release like one character every two weeks like <laughs> this is this, this is a whole like two years of real thing um so I, I, I bought affected everything, like I already have max LR coins as well, so I can't even buy this one. And I didn't even farm the post thing either. So it's like, it's very easy, it's very fast, it's very forgiving. And with the new system as well, which if you haven't seen my video on Labyrinth, um, I'll go in just to show. The, the new system is very cool. It's a little, I think they overestimated how many things you're going to be buying. I don't want to do all this, I just want to click here. You you can buy this um, on stores, it will randomly appear on the store, and it will be like a permanent buff for all your runs. If you've played a proper, <laughs> a proper roguelike, you see like, you know, when you lose a run, you're, you're, you're pretty much meant to lose your first run, because your, your character is much much weaker than it should be, right? You keep progressing your character, you've played Hades, it's literally what happens, right? And, you know, it's it's pretty much this. Your character or your account gets much, much stronger. Like, you see, I only bought four of the attack ones because, again, I didn't do that many runs. And, like, 36% crit chance, 48% crit damage, that's a lot. For it to just be a permanent buff, it's a lot. I, did, I buy, only bought one HP, then I buy a single defense because, you know, who cares about defense? <laughs> only bought one HP, but the first HP is, like, 2,000 HP as well, which for ungeared is pretty good. <clears throat> so... No, these permanent buffs, uh, you're going to be seeing them on stores. I'll be making a proper, like, guide for Labyrinth once uh, it drops on Global. But that, this is where you find them. And it's random. You might not see them. You might see them. Um, but that's pretty much it. The Labyrinth comes with a new skin for Ban, which... Ban is still a good character. I guess I'll open Ban. But it's like... I feel like he didn't need a skin. Like, look, Bun already had a Hawk Pass skin. I feel like, yeah, sure, like, look how many skins he has. <laughs> look, how, look how many skins he has. Like, there are characters that could use a, a skin here and there, you know what I mean? Like, Bun didn't have to get one. Demon King is the new hotness, and honestly, he could have got it. Like, the, isn't he missing a weapon? He is, he's missing a weapon. Bro, he, he hits that hard missing a weapon. That's crazy. I don't know. It's whatever.